He likes to shoot threes, so we could see that record broken uh, quite early on here. Yeah, we're looking at uh, school records, conference records, but she also leads the nation with 50 Correct. made threes. The pause for North Carolina State. So what team is going to show up today? But Virginia Tech, for folks that have not followed them this season, don't be fooled by their overall record. Made a three on the other end. Here's Kitley now, pulls back and makes it Elizabeth Kitley, the reigning ACC Freshman of the Year. Again, the Wolfpack without their leading scorer and leading rebounder, Elisa Kinane, out today, still in COVID protocol. But there is Jada Rice, the redshirt sophomore. Rice opting to defend Kitley one-on-one. -on -one. There's the double, a little bit of a collapse. Now you add in the factor of not having her on the defensive side and try and defend Kitley. That's such a tall task as Aza Shepard knocks it down. There you go, the career leader at Virginia Tech for made threes. Shepard, the new all-time leader in three-pointers made at Virginia Tech. Congratulations to Shepard. Her team is on top by one against the number. Um, some that are good, bad, and sometimes uncomfortable. And so she's been the total packet, one of Coach Brooks's first recruits when he got to Virginia Tech. And Kia Brown Turner. Man, they were poised for some type of run in the NCAA tournament. i tell you what he does remember, partner. And Coach has now put $50 on a $5 comment. Coach Brooks said the maturation and the, the way that she has really grown and matured as a basketball player has not just been season by season. In terms of the transfer portal and the system doesn't work for me and whatever the case may be, but Asia and credit to her mom, according to Coach Brooks, decided to stick it out even when she wasn't. Ada Boyd, her first points of the game. Strong drive there. Shepard wanted the end one, didn't get it. The continuity for NC State at points over their pause, they had as many as six available to Ooh. practice somewhere between six and 11. You asked them, how, how have you guys managed the, the last three weeks and, and what are your expectations coming into this game? And he said, we'll find out, which was very uh, <laughs> Bill Belichickian of him. It was like, you know, they've got three guards that shoot 40%. So defensively, they've got to find the shooters and then turnovers probably drive every coach crazy. Shepard steps back for three and knocks it down. Asia Shepard. The tempo is something that we also talked about with Coach Moore, in particular, what Reina Perez brings to this unit. You know, this is more, oh, wow. Long okay. range from Shepard. <laughs> Greg right there to clean it up though, Deja Greg. A giant in the women's basketball game and our good friend and colleague Debbie Antonelli had the opportunity to play with her and share so many heartfelt stories, but so many women. We was talking about Coach Sam. Coach would have loved this. Ooh, a little change of direction. I feel like you and I, technically we've called two of the last five games for the Hokies, but I feel like we've been there for each one. And it's been an interesting run for them as you see. Yeah, if. NC State starts hitting threes, then it opens up the floor in a tremendous way because not only can they shoot, but there are four players on the court right now. Now, Javi. Oh, wow, what a take. Nice drive by Azana Baines. To find her way within this offense, strong take and finish. Jakia Brown Turner. Shepard steps into the free throw line and knocks it down. Asia Shepard now with 11. North Carolina State, one of seven remaining undefeated teams in the nation. Of course, one of two in the ACC. Coach Brooks said that, of course, you're impressed with Lisa Kinane, but he said Kayla Jones is the player to watch out for that can really make you pay. As Kitley catches, turns, and shoots and scores. And one three-point play with, un with 16 seconds on the clock to pull that one out for the cards. And I tell you what it means. We talked with both, both or we've heard from both. You know, Hobby gives up about three inches to Kitley. I, she's defending purely from behind her. I wonder. Nice pass underneath to Camille Hobby, who finishes the assist from Perez. Count the bucket and the foul. For this NC State squad, the little dish to your post player finishing. Seven for 13 from long range. There's a three from Kayla Jones, knocks it down. The <laughs> baskets is cool, but at some point, somebody, one of these teams is gonna have to sit down and make it a little bit more difficult for the other as Kitley just goes over that left with the baby sky hook. What a jump she's made. Kitley, eight points, five boards. 
Three in the corner. I mean, Monica. Just, oh. Amor for three. Yes, Georgia Amor, the freshman from Australia. Um, her head so she could see the floor. Great little cut by Amor and then knocking down the three. It is just a three-point shootout here with Camille Hobby. Good Great defense there, there, but good, yeah, good defense by Jada Rice without fouling. And here's a little bit of that transition that NC State loves to get out in. There we go. On a 6-0 run over the last 146, Raina Perez with the tempo, pushing ahead to Kai Crutchfield, heads up play. Jada Boyd running the floor, hesitates, feels that defender, and gets the high. Going to have the upper hand in right. this game. Right. First foul on Elizabeth Kitley comes in the second half, so that is good news for Virginia Tech. Have a pure spot-up shooter. This year, she's been putting the ball on the floor and attacking the paint more consistently. Shepard got hit in the corner there. You know, they allow teams to go on double-digit runs and don't have an answer. This is not a time for that to happen, as Aja Shepard does her part there with that three to make sure it doesn't happen. The record right now would suggest that Virginia Tech would need the AQ opportunity, right. right? But we know that this team is better than their record as KJ is able to get the basket. Unusualness about the cadence of the preparation for this ballgame. So this will say a lot about them as a unit. Wide open shot and a three knocked down by Deja Gregg. I love the way Jakia Brown Turner works off the screen. She makes such great reads off the screens. And I also am quite the fan of poised Liz Kitley just taking advantage of her height. Kind of been their game plan now with Kunain out. The one Kai just had was a good look. Ooh, and one for Asia Shepard to give Virginia Tech the lead again. All the protocols in the ACC and, and what their plan is for the ACC tournament this year. And um, I found the conversation really interesting. Shepard steps back for three. Yes, Asia Shepard off the bounce. Shepard is so good. Whew. There's Kai Crutchfield Man. along, too. Wow. C consistency, okay? Can I have a Sunday <laughs> moment, Sam? Can we have a Sunday preach moment about consistency? A layup. She was inside of Kitley, so it either would have been a layup or a foul, I imagine. Amor stepping back, long two, mm. yes. Georgia Amor now with five. Oki's on top. Kitley down low. No double team coming on her. Had room to work and converts. And she's in the open floor. Great hands by Amor. A nice dish and can't finish, does Deja Gregg. Yeah, that's consecutive. I've got three turnovers now. Wolfpack not doing themselves any favors but not holding on to the basketball. But I'm, exactly, I'm going looking to get in the paint. That's exactly what Jakia Brown-Turner did. Now here's the stop. Whichever side Liz Kitley is on, I wonder if you bring the double, but there's no shooter. Ooh, mm, good, pass. good pass. What a great pass. Teams like today, it's just a bit easier. It's not as physical as it has been against or against teams like Georgia Tech, where you have Kubai down there. You're missing Kanane, that hurts a lot, but that's a good shot and it'll... Yeah, and, and this is a bit of a departure in a positive light because we talked about this team's notorious droughts and today they've been able to avoid it. What a great move, great footwork by Liz Kitley. Mm, Time it out point. right. You got North Carolina State again on Thursday. Kitley from the elbow. Yes, Kitley. <laughs> Raina Perez's shot, no good. Offensive rebound to Turner. Here's a quick three, and a good three from Kayla Jones. Still a lot of time, and North Carolina State has four timeouts. Can't let that happen, though. Can't let Kitley get on the offensive glass, and you can't let her score off it either. With Kitley, who has a foot or so on her. Amor goes down hard there, opens up for Kai Crutchfield for three. 81-73, here's Crutchfield again, yes! <laughs> Ty Crutchfield. Stolen mm. away. In the open floor. And good. Ty Crutchfield with the steal and the bucket. Meanwhile, Virginia Tech leading by just three points now. Nakia Brown turned it a tie. Yes! <laughs> Man, I love the game of basketball. Coach Capel doing a tremendous job with the Panthers program in Champagne. He's one of my favorite names of this season. <laughs> it's a great one, isn't it? It's a great last name. 
by an average margin of five points. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, what wow. What do you Taylor do with Jones? that, Sam? What do you do with that? Man, this, oh man, and this Kidley has to play that honestly. She contested, but Kayla can also put it up the ball on the ground and blow by as Asia Shepard. This is a mismatch. Loses it for a second, gets it back, misses, and the rebound to Azana Baines. Three-point game. Uh -huh. Big free throw here, and she misses. You know, these are the type of moments that Kayla Jones has shown all season she lives for. Brings the lead to three. And now a two-possession ball game. Amor's got to go. Yeah, the worst thing they could do would be to foul on a three-point play. What Amor finds play. an open three what and knocks it down. Play. That was a great read. I don't know how she came loose. You're also missing now Georgia Amor, who is shooting over 40% from beyond the arc this season. He is fouled out. That, that category of the players that are on the floor. And she misses. Virginia Tech has to go. Kayla King with the ball, throws it up from half court. No good, and North Carolina State escapes barely with an 89-87 win.